Let's take a trip across America and see how many of these facts you know. This episode is on Vermont. Vermont made it all the way to 1996 as one of the only states to still not have a Walmart. Brattleboro resident Ida Mae Fuller was the first American citizen to receive a Social Security check. She collected her first check in 1940 and lived to be 100 years old. Billboards are illegal in the state of Vermont and advertising along roadways is highly regulated. You won't see exit signs plastered with McDonald's or Starbucks logos and even the signs for the company's place of business on their own premises have to follow strict guidelines. The capital of Vermont is the smallest state capital in the country with a population of under 9,000 people. It is the only capital in the United States that does not have a McDonald's restaurant. The Vermont Teddy Bear Company is headquartered in Vermont. As one of the largest producers of teddy bears by mail order and internet, the company creates each bear by hand and produces over almost 150,000 per year for delivery. IBM is Vermont's largest employer. The company employs just under 400,000 people worldwide and brought in a staggering $95.8 billion worth of revenue in 2009. Vermont is famous for its maple syrup. The state produces more than 500,000 gallons every year. At one time or another, the state of New Hampshire and New York both claimed Vermont as their own. Vermont is one of only two states in America to offer snowboarding as a varsity sport that comes with a state championship. Everybody's favorite ice cream loving hippie duo Ben and Jerry began right here in Vermont by Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield. They were two childhood friends from New York who turned their ice cream dream into a reality in Burlington on May the 5th, 1978 with $12,000. What started as an online site to commemorate Ben and Jerry's flavors is now a real cemetery of sorts. The flavor graveyard is located at the company's headquarters. There you will find headstones to dozens of flavors like holy cannoli.